everyone, welcome back. So today we have the finished geisha project to look at. Uh, and I think you'll like her. I'm, uh, I know we had an update not that long ago, so um, you know, you saw most of the stitching completed, but once I got the back stitching on, it really highlighted a lot of the detail in her kimono. So I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how much of a difference that outlining made and how pretty she is. So as a reminder, this was the little image that we had of her, um, super tiny, hard to really see much on there. And um, we had our two page pattern again. My thought was that the pattern, because it was sort of a large printed pattern, especially compared to a lot of the uh, Nora Corbett or Mirabilia, Mirabilia patterns that have kind of a tiny print, um, I thought this was going to be an easy project. I don't know why I thought that. This was not easy. It was not at all easy. Uh, she was bigger than I thought, even though I measured her and I knew exactly how big she was going to be. For some reason, she was bigger than I had in my brain. And there were so many half or three quarter stitches, um, so many, and a lot of little small bits of color. So there was a lot of color changes and um, it just made for a little bit of a tedious stitching process uh, where you know you're having to do a half stitch, one full stitch, another half stitch, and that creates one leaf, you know, and then you're having to, you know, put space between leaves and it it was just it was a lot more challenging than I ever thought it was going to be when I set out to do this for some reason. Not that it was impossibly hard, it just, it was more than I thought. So just be warned, if this is a, a pattern that you're considering, it's definitely one that you want to make sure you are uh, ready for the amount of time that it, it's going to take and the detail that's involved because I, I was not prepared, but we got through it. We did it. And in the middle of it all, I also, you know, moved and had this puppy that's an absolute disaster. He, he is, he is full puppy, let me tell you. So yeah, some days stitching was harder than others because he would steal the threads, just to give you a hint. Or the needle threader favorite thing in the world is still that needle threader. I turn my eye for a second and it's in his mouth. So <laughs> maybe, maybe work on it when you don't have a puppy. I, I don't know. Anyways, let's get to the good stuff here. Here is finished geisha. Oops. Look at all that. She's so pretty and even like this little branch that um, took forever just because there's so much space between all the leaves and so counting and on linen, you know, I triple count, um, but it really adds so much detail that it's important. The only thing I left off of this uh, that was on the pattern, and I don't know if you can even see it on the picture, they have like this little symbol sort of right there and I made a choice to leave that off. It um, wasn't a symbol that m meant anything as such. It had, um, I can show you on the pattern really quickly here. It was sort of just like a blank square and then down the bottom you pick the letters that you want to put in it. And so 
for me, I, you know, I didn't want to put my initials and I didn't really have anything that felt meaningful to put on there. So I made a choice to just leave it off. I didn't think it added enough that it would um, be a detriment if I left it off. So that was my choice. That's the only thing that I, I didn't do. But um, yeah, so let me see if I can zoom in here on some of this detail on her kimono so you can see the back stitching and how it really highlights you know all the floral and leaf patterns that are on on there it's she's really quite remarkable um, and I'm glad the light is good today so I can show this all to you you can see her colors pretty good uh, so yeah, there she is. What do you think? I think I like her more finished than I did looking at her in the picture. The picture, again, it's so small, it was hard to tell. Um, but I thought, oh yeah, she'll, she'll, be, she'll be pretty, it'll be fine, whatever. But seeing her done, I, like, I, I think she turned out really, really surprisingly stunning. And uh, so I'm, I'm really happy with her, actually. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I know I shouldn't be surprised. Why, why would we work on a project that we think is, we're gonna hate, right? I, I always thought I would like her, but I didn't know I would like her this much. And uh, especially, you know, to be honest, Janlin is not a pattern maker that I, gravitate to a lot you know um, I don't necessarily go searching out Jan Lin patterns like I said in my uh, start video it just happened that my mom picked it up at a yard sale and sent it and it sat in my drawer for I don't know, 20 years 15 years forever and um, yeah I don't know why I just decided now was the time but I'm really glad that I did this and uh, yeah, I hope if you like how she looks and if this is, you know, a style that you enjoy doing, um, you should check this out. I think she's worth the, the sort of grief that it took to get her done. I would love to hear your thoughts, what you think of her, uh, if you're considering tackling this project yourself, and if you have any questions or concerns about doing so, by all means. I am here to help. So that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by and checking in and I will be uploading a new start video very soon. Uh, in fact, I, I'm not looking to take much of a break between projects so it'll probably be very soon that I get that video up for you. Anyway. Uh, so check that out in the coming days and I will see you then. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye!